Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It's Thursday, the 28th of March. And in this video, as the thumbnail and title suggest, I'm going to shine a light on something that came out yesterday on the back of the horrendous trolling that Princess Catherine, Princess of Wales, has had to endure over the last month, but especially over the last week or so. Now, if you haven't already seen it, I did a video on Kate's shock diagnosis. I've popped a link up in the right-hand corner. But by now, the world knows exactly what's going on. But that hasn't silenced the critics. While some celebrities that threw shade at Catherine and even went to into great detail of their marriage, i.e. Stephen Colbert, have come out and publicly apologised and expressed their deep shame. Interestingly enough, Stephen Colbert, while he did address the situation, he didn't quite apologise. And I suggest that's because his lawyers have said, do not admit any apology or f fact that you've done something wrong. Because Rose Hambry, the lady that he accused of having an affair with Prince William, which we all know is an absolute baseless lie, has sent him legal documents to be quiet. But what is shocking is that still the level of conspiracy theories are rolling on, that it's AI generated, that she's sitting on a bench that's not there, that it's green screened, that she's still missing because that's not Kate, it's all AI. And they go through frame, through frame, through frame to basically say, well, look, her ring disappears. Well, do you know what? Have you ever gone through or been close to somebody who has gone through chemotherapy, you lose weight. And therefore, the rings that were on your fingers sometimes slip and revert round. And this is how I personally explain how the ring kind of... The, Catherine's got a beautiful, beautiful sapphire ring. It belonged to Princess Diana. But when you lose a lot of weight, your ring moves around and it kind of swivels. And especially with a stone so heavy, it can swivel round. But the band is always there. But of course... When you point out this to people, you get called all sorts of names. You get told to wake up and smell the coffee. They're lying. What exactly are they lying about? How can you possibly troll somebody going through cancer? They've even said she's lying about this and I cannot stand it. But the main culprit at the moment is our favourite Christopher Boozy. And there's a reason why I'm talking about Christopher Boozy. I don't like to bring him up on this channel a lot because I don't like to give him a lot of airtime. He's been extremely aggressive towards our community and those that are prominent in the community. We all know that disgusting three-tier report that he released having a go at the Mexic community, focusing both on myself, Taz and Wally, and doing deep dives into us when really there was nothing actually there in the first place, demanding look at this, demanding that we show our earnings when we said that the fact that his estimates were wildly incorrect, he actually physically demanded that we show him and journalists not just a screenshot, but an actual live screen share with people at Newsweek and people. <laughs> Journalist, no. But what happened was that he did this in the dead of night UK time and only gave us about 30 minutes to an hour to actually do this when we were all sound asleep. And because we didn't do it, he claimed, look, they won't do it. They know that I, my report was accurate. The level of trolling this man has done on us, on all of us, is disgusting. And it's been long since kind of we've scratched our heads thinking, how is he getting away with this? Well, it turns out the worm has slightly turned. I say slightly. It has turned. And the fact, because he is now heavily trolling Princess Catherine and saying that not only were the shot of her in the car with her mother on the Windsor estate, that's apparently not Catherine or fake, that he's having a go at the Mother's Day picture saying that that was completely fake. He's also saying that the video of Princess Catherine and Prince William in the farm shop is also fake. And he's doubling down. He's not just doubling down, he's tripling down. Well, this is, hasn't really gone down with the British media very well. And they've started to look at Mr. Boozy himself. And boy, oh boy, are they really, really digging. So it started off with them bringing up the fact that he 
was on Harry and Meghan's reality TV slash documentary series as their champion and their cheerleader. And why on earth is he now trolling baseless conspiracy theories about Princess Catherine? He even went there in a... He has spoutable and they're called pods and it's like a live broadcast. He suggested that there was a DV element. And if you don't know what DV is, please Google it between William and Catherine. He actually suggested that could be a possibility. How low can this man go? And that has got the British tabloids back up. Quite frankly, it's got a lot of people's back up. And they are now shining a very, very, very big light on Mr. Boozy. But not only that, also shone a light and the vile and disgusting things that the Sussex squad have said over the years. Now, if you don't know what the Sussex squad is, oh God, blissful ignorance, fantastic. I wish I could join you. But for those of us that have been on the receiving end of the Sussex squad, it, it's been terrible, quite frankly. I, I have been accused of murdering my mother-in-law. I have been accused of being the one that shouted or instigated the woman shouting charlatan duchess at Meghan Markle when she was in New York and that I asked people to take a knife to her stomach. It's vile, absolutely vile. My children have been contacted. My ex-employer has been contacted. At the peak of Covid, mind, bear in mind that this was an intensive care unit when needless to say their attention should have been on the patients and not taking phone calls from the squad. I've had death threats, I've had emails containing a google image search of my home saying the squad always knows and also that containing my old full address. My husband has been called a transvestite and the fact that his name is Stephanie. I found that one quite funny. And today we still joke about that, but it's not a joking matter. We've had people in the community that have had police turn up at the door. I, for one, have had that. And I know several other peoples have had that too, all on the back of the Sussex squad. We've been doxxed. Some people have been doxxed wrongly. And these people have trolled innocent people. The level of hatred, just because we're outspoken about Meghan Markle and Harry goes beyond the pale. Well, not anymore, because the British media are biting back, not only just at Christopher Boozy, but look at this. Here we go. The Sun unleashed their article yesterday on the Sussex sewer trolls. Now, I have popped a link in the description. If you want to go to the article yourself, please, by all means, share, share away. If you have a social media account, please share it far and wide because this is an extremely good article. There is one slight criticism. I wish the reporter would have gone a bit harder and actually digged deeper into whether or not Harry and Meghan have a connection to the Sussex squad because we know that they've thanked fans Henry's cousin, a.k.a. Danny Trim, was one of them. They actually rang her up and thanked her. She was one of the worst ones out there. And we know for a fact that Boozy is in their camp because, hey, he's been on the blinking reality TV show slash documentary series. Anyway, let's get to the article, shall we? It's written by feature writer from The Sun, Grace McCaskill, and it says the Sussex squalid inside the sinister world of the Sussex squad online trolls making Kate Middleton's, that's what I, it's Catherine Princess of Wales, life a misery with bullying and lies. The Sussex squad make outlandish claims about Kate in defence of their heroine Meghan Markle. They branded themselves the Sussex squad carrying out some of the worst online bullying of the Princess of Wales. And today the sun can reveal some of the sinister tactics the troll use against those who speak out against them. Their campaign of hate began when they peddled sick conspiracy theories around Kate's abdominal surgery, claiming she was the victim of domestic violence, was in the middle of a divorce from Prince William, or hiding away after plastic surgery. Even when the princess last week bravely told the world she's undergoing chemotherapy, the cyberbullies claimed her video was AI generated. Behind some of the worst trolling is a group using the hashtag Sussex Squad, who have made outlandish claims about Kate in defence of the heroine, the Duchess of Sussex. There is no suggestion the group of trolls are endorsed by the Sussexes. I beg to differ, because like I've said, the Sussexes have contacted some of the biggest troll accounts and thanked them for their support in fundraisers, etc, etc. Boozy regularly hosts 
like it's like spaces but they're called pods on his spoutable nonsense just aimed at the Sussex squad and he uses chats with the Sussex squad etc etc so he's well aligned with them and we know that they have heavily funded his spoutable initiative company oh knock off anyway back to the article their chief cheerleader is u.s tech entrepreneur christopher boozy who appeared on the sussex's netflix documentary harry and Meghan to call out online hate when it was announced in january that the princess was undergoing surgery he posted a video of a gymnast doing backflips captioned kate middleton this weekend the self-proclaimed sussex squad claims the sun exclusive video of kate visiting a farm shop in windsor features a body double or a look-alike and the trolls cruelly claim Prince William threw his wife under the bus after the princess admitted tweaking her annual Mother's Day picture. We spoke to three people who claim that they have been trolled mercilessly and sent frightening messages for speaking out about the squad. The women claim they have been doxxed, had private details leaked on Twitter slash X, while their families and friends have been hounded on social media. One told us how she was subject to a smear campaign which alleged she was complicit in a family member's death. <coughs> me. She was also sent an email with a home address and picture of a house from Google Maps. Again, me. One victim told us that they dig deep to find out everything about you. They dox your name on Twitter and hound any family members, even young kids, linked to you via social media. They then start hounding your place of employment, kids, schools and spreading terrible rumours about you. In one case, they called a friend's place of work and started screeching death threats to staff. They contacted her teenage daughters and started threatening them. They do everything they can to get you deplatformed, removed from social media by making complaints. They jump on any post that criticise Harry and Meghan or shows massive support of the Prince and Princess of Wales. Another woman claims those posting under the Sussex Squad hashtag have created smear campaigns against former members who disagree with them. She said they have block squads to make sure everyone blocks you on Twitter. You're not allowed to mention any mishaps or false steps the couple may have made or you are pushed out. A third said most of the main royal accounts have been targeted over the years. Around 200 accounts were bullied off Twitter with the constant relentless harassment from the squad. On a now deleted post on the Sussex Squad podcast page, one Megan supporter warned, if you come on our platforms, you lose your right to privacy. We will find you, call your jobs, contact your families, etc. Try it and see what happens. You have no free speech on any of our platforms. While Harry and Meghan have also been the focus of vile and racist social media campaigns, those worried about the power wielded by the Sussex squad claim members are a coordinated group. The so-called squad is championed by New York software engineer Boozy, 48, who was responsible for a tech program that unearthed hundreds of bots harassing Harry and Meghan. Megan? Megan? Oh, Harry and Megan. Yeah, well, that's been debunked completely. Boozy has previously called Prince William a balding muppet and claims the future King and Kate look like Harry's aunt and uncle. He also claimed the son's exclusive video of Kate at her favourite farm shop in Windsor. First images after her surgery is fake. Boozy has also appeared on the Sussex Squad podcast created by two American women known only as Tina and Michelle. And if any of you have actually, actually listened to that, oh, I said actually, actually then. Sorry, it's a bit, bit of a weird day in my brain. On the Sussex Squad Instagram page, members peddling dangerous conspiracy theories about Kate's cancer operation, including allegations she does not have the disease. A blog on its main website insults Prince William's hairline in a bizarre barb referencing the late Princess Diana. Branding him Baldilocks, it stakes, but William is bold because his mother reached down from heaven and snatched her fine Spencer jeans back. William's hairline was also snatched in the process. Another blog post accused Prince and Princess of Wales of leaking stories about their children, adding it does incite how low they are prepared to go to court public sympathy. It then goes on to talk about a data science expert, Anna George, who is working at the University of Oxford, but I'm not going to go into it in that detail. But if you want to read it, links down in the description box below. But it just goes to show you, I think the floodgates have opened. I also am aware of another quite damaging article that is hopefully due to be released this weekend with regards to Christopher Boozy and his nefarious ways that he issues pylons to people and the fact that <laughs> it's widely known or widely suspected that he was paid by Amber Heard and the fact that 
his bot sentinel only had Meghan Markle and Amber Heard suggests that he was also paid allegedly by Meghan Markle. But I think I've prattled on enough now, to be quite honest. Uh, when I read this, I jumped for joy. I really, really did. Because, quite frankly, it's been a long time coming. I never stand for any hate speech. I never stand for any death threats. I will state that now. It is disgusting and wrong. Don't come for the children. Don't do anything like that. And you certainly shouldn't dox anybody. Irrelevant of what side you're on. Certainly don't agree with it. And I will never do that. I will never support it. But unfortunately, the Sussex Squad, it's their MO. And they have been doing it for years and years and years and years. And it has got to stop. Thankfully, hopefully, this means the floodgates. Uh, Australia Sky have also reissued the article. And let's hope that is the first of many media outlets that are going to be speaking up against this Sussex squad who align themselves with Harry and Meghan and who Harry and Meghan have actually called upon quite a few times. But I will say this, Princess Catherine has my full support and I will die on that hill. I really, really, really will. She is an inspiration to me and hopefully this will stop them biting back. I doubt it. This will only send them into a frenzy, unfortunately, but at least we're getting some traction, finally, after four and a half years. But I'd love to know your thoughts on this. What did you think about the article? Have you found it before I mentioned it? Did you, were you aware of it? Do you think it's about time? Do you think it needed to go harder? Or do you think that this is only the beginning? Or do you think, plain devil's advocate, meh, nothing will get done about it and nothing will change? As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.